J-Dub Henderson. Green flags racing underway as they have all stacked up throughout the field. Connors, look, Conrad's looking them over. Green flags in the air, much better restart. KJ Snow, he gets around Brody Wake. He'll bring TJ Smith with him for those top two spots as the 24 and the 49. Cameron LaRose and J.W. Henderson go into battle. Cameron LaRose looking to get around him. Colton Hardy right there behind LaRose. And there's the 36 of Tuesday Calderwood. Corbin Ruschenberg, Logan Calderwood, Josh Spatola. TJ Smith all over the back of KJ Snow. Brody Wake in the 247, a J-Dub going to battle. Here comes Cameron LaRose. As now the 24 and the eight starting to encounter lap traffic. KJ Snow's gotta get around the one and he does as, as flying in the air and there it is. Looks like the one AZ gonna, and Conrad's got it in the air. We're back underway. 23 laps left to go in this outlaw micro race. KJ Snow way out in front. TJ Smith and then Brody Wake with all kinds of pressure from JW Henderson. Still problems for the nine as we go back to green. Colton Hardy to the inside of Cameron LaRose. Cameron LaRose fighting back as they drag race down the back stretch into turn three. Cameron LaRose gets Colton Hardy back. He's gonna start working his way up to Brody Wake in the 78. Colton Hardy gonna try to fight back as now Eddie Hamlin gets around the 36 of Tuesday Calderwood. And the eight of TJ Smith is all over the back of KJ Snow. The 247 gets around Tuesday Calderwood Tuesday starting to drift back. Brody Wake with all kinds of pressure from Cameron Rose. Cameron Rose with all kinds of pressure from the 41. Brody Wake slides high wide around the outside. Cameron the Rose starting to reel him in. Colton Hardy still right there with Cameron the Rose. And Rosenberg gonna pull it to the infield. K.J. Snow, T.J. Smith, Brody Wake. As the caution comes out, and green flags back in the air. Cameron LaRose gets it up on the bicycle coming out of turn four. He's still trying to put hold off the pressure of the 41, Colton Hardy. 
TJ Smith trying to apply the pressure to KJ Snow. Here comes the white flag for KJ Snow. TJ Smith got four corners left to get it done. He slid it in hard to turn two, lost a little time to KJ Snow. There he is folks, KJ Snow. Yeah. We'll see if we get a word with KJ here really quick. <laughs> Spreading the love. KJ, that was a uh, that was a heck of a run. Give us uh, give us a rundown how that went tonight for you. Uh, well, first I have definitely have to thank J Dub for giving me the number one. I mean, uh, I just can't thank everybody enough for you know believing in, in me and taking a chance on me. Um, the whole Steffi family, Jake Gopian, Michael Faceno, all the guys back at the shop, Austin Carter. I mean, I couldn't do this without all the great people surrounding me. And uh, I'm just glad we could uh, get it done for Dan. He, he would be pumped right now. Right on. Well, congratulations. You got the main event wet, main event win on night number two, the Steffi showdown. You got anybody else you want to personally thank? Uh, mom, dad, um, my sister, brother-in-law. Just my family that keeps me going whenever I'm down. Uh, just definitely a good support system around here and uh, couldn't do it without anybody. Right on. Well, congratulations. You got some photos to take and some hardwares to collect. <laughs> TJ Smith, that was a heck of a run. How'd that go for you tonight, buddy? Man, I knew, uh, I knew KJ was going to be tough to beat off the pole, but uh, we came here with one mindset, and it was let's finish uh, first and second, and doesn't matter who it is. So. Right on. Well, congratulations. You're running second. You're going to be back here soon? Uh, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. It's a long drive. Well, we hope to see you back here. So do the fans. Give them a big round of applause. That's one and two. As it looks like the hot pits are coming to life, that only means one thing.